Hey guys, welcome back. So obviously you can see we have a change of scenery starting off today's video. We are in my kitchen and that is because today's video is spotlighting what I would have to say is one of my new favorite cozies, which is Magic Lies and Deadly Pies by Misha Pop. Now I have had this book on my TBR for a while and I honestly didn't know what to expect going in other than the basic plot synopsis of a woman who basically bakes murder pies. So already I was super intrigued and hopefully if you haven't read the book you are too but I was so so pleasantly surprised by this cozy that honestly it inspired me to bake a pie. <laughs> now I know cozies that are food related will typically have recipes in the back and this one certainly does but I also know a my baking level <laughs> and then also my family's preferences. So that said instead of baking a pie that is from the book I decided to bake an Oreo pie because it's very minimal baking, a lot of refrigeration, and also who doesn't love Oreos. So I am going to do today's video a little bit differently uh, because I'm actually going to show you guys me baking the pie while I talk about the book. But um, with that said, let's go ahead and dive into what it's all about. Starting off, like I said, we are introduced to our main character, Daisy, who bakes pies not only intended to murder people, but she also transfers other emotions into the pies. So for example, um, you know, she will sell her pies at the local college campus and she will bake them so that the customers are feeling inspired and motivated to study and that kind of thing. You can actually taste her emotions or her intended emotions. And in addition to that, of course, you also get the vigilante side because she does deliver pies that ultimately do lead particular people to their death. And that is kind of like the darker element of it, which is one of the reasons why I enjoyed this cozy. But let's just kind of talk about off the bat what we've got. So Daisy, as I mentioned, is baking pies um, as part of her twofold business. She's got her regular baking business and then she has her pie before guys business, which ultimately is kind of an underground network in which women who are in relationships or in situations that they cannot get out of where they feel endangered, Daisy will bake and deliver pies to the people who are preying on these women that ultimately leads to their demise. Now, while she was living her life and doing all of this, she gets a note from someone ultimately trying to blackmail her. And so she is trying to figure out who that person is because of course they know her secret and she can't let that happen. Now. I will say what's interesting and what I didn't expect from this book is that there's no actual um, murder for her to solve, which of course goes against in a sense what a cozy mystery is. However, when you look at it and you think about it, it's still a cozy because you've got those cozy baking descriptions. She is trying to solve a mystery, albeit it's not necessarily a murder. And then there's also the um, small town and the characters who I absolutely have come to love and adore. We've got the diner owner who in exchange for letting Daisy park her camper RV in their parking lot, has her bake pies for the diner and he is a gruff salt of the earth diner owner very kind of fatherly or grandfatherly and despite his gruffness and maybe what he says you can tell that he still cares for Daisy and there's a couple of side characters as well who you can't tell going into it if they're supposed to be love interests or just friends um, but I enjoyed trying to follow along with those budding relationships and overall like I said this was a very entertaining cozy you got the dark elements just in terms of the intent of the murder and also the language while at the same time having that whimsical 
magical realism element, the coziness is still there because when I tell you the pie descriptions are just so tempting, obviously, because here I am baking a pie, <laughs> that is absolutely true. So like I said, I highly recommend this book. I've already started on the second book. I am eagerly awaiting for book three, which is coming out later on in the year. And I just cannot rave enough about it. It is one of my all time favorites in terms of cozy mystery series just that quickly. That's good. That is good. Mm hmm. Mm, success. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. It tastes like just the inside of an Oreo with Oreo. The cream cheese version. Yeah. It's actually okay. better than Oreo cream cheese, I would say. That's good. I'm supposed to have a lot of That's Oreos. Delicious. Hooray! Success, guys. Oh, <laughs> So we're going to call this a success. <clears throat> like I said, I was so motivated to have some kind of or make some kind of pie after reading that book. And I actually already started the next book in the series, but I won't get into that. Let's just say loving it so far. Um, the, the premise is um, her needing to kind of do her thing against a baking competition backdrop so think like the great british bake-off but an american version so anyway i'm calling this a success the husband is calling it a success as well and i hope you guys enjoy following along on my baking adventures so if you like this video please like and subscribe in the meantime i will talk to you guys later bye